Okay, on this installment of making circular designs with Adobe Illustrator, we are going to focus in on basing our designs off of open paths with strokes on it. So here we have a open path with a three point stroke on it. And I want to rotate it around and I want to make a little space right here. So to help determine what angle I want it to be at, because I know I want whatever angle I rotate at to go into 360 evenly, I can just select it, get my rotate tool, and then remember the most basic way of using the rotate tool is just to select the artwork, click on where you want the pivot point, and then just drag it where you want it. So if I drag it around, I can see how many uh, degrees I'm pulling it around, plus the original position and like a little ghost of where it would be. So if I pull it around like this, I can see that I make a little enclosed area there and I can see that I want somewhere around 15 degrees. So let me undo that. And then with it selected in the rotate tool, this time I'm gonna hold down just like I have been doing the option button. So I get that dot, dot, dot by my cursor, choose where I want my pivot point, and then I will get my dialog box for my rotate tool, 15 degrees, say copy, and then I'm going to use transform again, object, transform, transform again, command D, which is what I'll be doing from here on out. And I could continue rotating all the way around like that. Now the next step would be to color this in with like the shape builder tool. I am a little too lazy to do that much clicking. So I'm just going to back up a little bit, something like this and select my artwork, get my shape builder tool. Now, if you're gonna do coloring in with the shape builder tool, you wanna have your colors set up already in the swatches. Blue, red, and I'll make that little area here. Like the yellow, get all kind of carnival -y on it. And I can also use my shape builder tool to uh, trim this out. So hold down option, drag like that, right, something like that. Okay, so now I've got my basic motif. Now if each one of these move 15 degrees, two of them should move twice that, right? 30 degrees. So let's go ahead, select both of those, get my rotate tool again, hold down option, choose that center point, my pivot, and this time instead of 15 degrees, I want double that, 30, because I got two pieces, right? Say copy. And now I'm going to use my transform again, command D, to continue rotating, copying that around until my design is done. And I don't have to click so much. So let me go ahead and group that. There we go. There's that design. Now let's go take a look at another design based on strokes. Go over here to layers. Like that. Okay. So here's another open path with a basic 10 point stroke on it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go over here to profiles. And I'll just use that with the profile one. So it goes from uh, thin to thick to thin again, like that. So that gives it a little bit more interest to it. Now the next thing I want to do is I think I want to flip this around. So I'm going to need the reflect tool and I'm gonna have to pick out that reflect point. So I think I'm gonna pull out a guide, right? Something like this, maybe. So I'm just, that's just to help me visualize where I'm going to uh, reflect it over from. So then I can go ahead, select that uh, stroked open path that has the width profile on it. Now, the rotate tool and the reflect tool share the same slot. So I'm just gonna hold down my left mouse button until I see that reflect tool. I'll choose that. Now you can see just like the rotate tool, the reflect point is gonna be right in the middle by default, but also just like the rotate tool, I can also hold down option and click where I want that reflection point to be and get a dialog box and I can choose horizontal or vertical. So, I want vertical. And just like the rotate dialog box, I can just say okay, or I can say copy. And of course, copy is what I want here. So you get something like that. Good. So now I've got my basic motif. 
Now, when you're using guides, guides are great, but Illustrator's a little weird in that it treats guides kind of like objects. So if, if I go to view guides, if I have, right now I have uh, my guides locked, but if my guides aren't locked, let me show you what can happen. I select this all, get my rotate tool, and I'll left click hold that down until I get my rotate tool, and uh, I'll just hit enter. You can see that you're, I'm rotating my guide around, which I don't necessarily want. So because of the way Illustrator thinks, if your guides are showing and not locked, you can inadvertently select them and start rotating them or transforming them, which you may not want to do. So, okay, so for what I want to do though, is I'm just going to go to view guides and make sure that my guides are locked. There we go. So the other thing is, let me just copy this over for a second. If I know that I'm going to want to be uh, coloring this in with the shape builder tool, I've got to be careful. Here, let me get my shape builder tool. Here, I'll load up a color. When I'm working with uh, profiles on strokes, because you can see that when I did this, it, it broke those strokes up or cut them up into new pieces and it kind of messed up my uh, width profile that I have. So if I want to make sure that it stays looking like this, my uh, my strokes, I'm going to actually have to turn them into not strokes but into fills. So with it selected I can go to object, path, outline strokes, and you can see here that is no longer a stroke but now it is a uh, filled path and so if I was to use my shape builder tool on it now you can see that it doesn't mess it up it just uh, fills it in you know, I'll undo that okay so let me go ahead actually I, I think I'll group these together so that I uh, don't lose them let's zoom out a little bit so let's select it get my rotate tool Choose um, choose where I want my rotation point to be. About there, maybe. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it does. Let's do the 15 again. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So I'm using that transform again to continue rotating, copying it around. So okay, I kind of want to have a little bit more, a little bit more of a shape in here. Let me copy this over. I won't throw this away though. I'll just uh, Command G, group that together. Shift, constraint proportions, move that over. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over. Remember, I have my guides locked, and I'm just going to line this up where they overlap to help me pick my center point get my rotation tool, hold down my alt button. So if I want a little bit more overlap uh, here, I can uh, do this, say copy. It's not that different really, is it? Slightly. All right. An option, move that over. I'll group this and let's try it one more time. Okay, third time's charm, right? So pull my group over here, line it up one more time, get my rotation tool with it selected. Let's take my pivot point up even higher, maybe up here more. Hold down option, click. Say copy. There we go. That's a little bit more. Now it's getting a little tight there, though. Command D to transform again. All right, like that. Group that all together. Command G. Let's lose the guide. I don't need guide anymore. I don't think. View guide. I'll just clear that guide. And let's 
shrink this down, hold down shift to constrain proportions. Like these. So from here, if I want to uh, work on these a little bit more, I could color them in with the Shape Builder tool because I uh, thought to outline my strokes first. And here I can also, here if I make a circle, remember, Alt to draw from the center, Shift to make a perfect circle. I could do something like that. And uh, let's do this. Oh, no. Arrange, right click, arrange, send it back. Yeah. So, since I have that uh, design, uh, that circular design I made uh, grouped together, I can select it and that circle I made, and then I can use my line tools to make sure they all get registered just right. Or I could just select it and get my shape builder tool and pick a shape, right? But that's the general idea. So that's making circular designs based on open strokes and a little bit with the shape builder. So we covered a little bit with using profiles, coloring with the shape builder tool, and uh, figuring out the uh, degrees that you might want to rotate something by looking at the tool tips. All right, stay tuned for the next installment of Making Circular Designs in Adobe Illustrator.